It's a Times Now exclusive. We met Team India's coach Gary Kirsten after India's historic World Cup victory. And here is what he had to say. You guys have just done, made us indebted for perhaps what we can never repay. How was it? How did, you, how did it, I mean, is it still sinking in? And how did you achieve it? I'll start with you, Gary. Oh, and it was a fantastic achievement and, you know, a dream for, for us all. Um, but I think it's just all, all credit to the players, really. You know, they're the ones that have, that have gone out there and handled the, the massive expectations that have been placed on them. Um, they're the ones that have prepared really well for, for this tournament and for all the cricket that they've played, really. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been fantastic to be part of it and um, just, a, just a dream, really, for all of us. He's, as usual, modest and humble. Just tell us about his contribution, because I think this is the only time that the two of you are speaking to the media, ever, in your stint of three years, which is, again, I mean, very rare, and he's leaving on Wednesday, you guys are leaving. But now we need to know, what was the, what was the mantra from a black hole in 2007 to the dizzying heights of 2011? Quite a journey. Tell us, what, what did he do to the team? I think a lot. Um, I think it really was a, a team effort, as Gary mentions. The credit really must go to the players. They, they, they put in the hard work. And really from a support staff, our job was to, to be there to support them, to encourage them, to listen to what they needed in order to set themselves up for success. Um, you know, a lot of what Gary did, he was prepared to listen to the players, worked hard to understand them. Um, it's an open secret that Gary's an exceptionally hard worker and he invested everything of himself, his time, his throwing shoulder um, into the players to really to give them what they needed to do to realize their dream. And our job was to support them. Gary, to manage a team that has Tendulkar, Dhoni, Sehwag, Yuvraj, mighty difficult. I mean, what did you do? I mean, you know, uh, you've never hogged the limelight. How did, you, how did you manage them? What did you tell them? Before the World Cup, uh, it's been a process, right? It could not have been a def effort for one day or one month or two months. Absolutely, and I think Paddy's alluded to, to a large degree where we spent a lot of time just, just getting to understand these guys and, and really what they wanted from us to help them, you know, achieve the success they needed. So um, each individual was very different and we needed to understand the individual and just see what we could do to help him and, and influence him in a positive way to, you know, make sure that when he, when he crossed the ropes, he was at his best. I think I sort of rephrase my question. Uh, you know, sort of your interaction with Sachin, is perhaps now stuff of legend in Indian cricket echelons. Just tell my viewers a little bit about what is it like to deal with him. How did you, I mean, inspiration and motivation are two words, perhaps cliche for him, but you and Sachin, how does that work? Oh, it's, it's been a fantastic privilege to work with him. I mean, he's certainly, and I've, I've said this on a number of occasions, the, the greatest sporting role model that I've come across. Um, he's a fantastic team man. He works uh, exceptionally hard on his game, um, even after the amount of time that he's played. He takes nothing for granted in his preparation. 